Hey y'all. Hi guys. <laughs> welcome back to my channel or welcome if it's your first time here. My name is Katherine Young and I'm a creative and this is Katie from Vintage and Vinyl. <laughs> and so we are actually in Florida in this video. So Katie's from Florida. Yep. Um, I actually used to live in Florida. So this is kind of my old stopping ground. We are kind of on the coast, kind of near Cocoa Beach. Uh, we're just a little bit in from the peninsula and I just saw a thrift shop. Uh huh. The Catherine was like, Katie, pull the car over. We're going thrifting. Like, yes. So, so we're going to check out what this is. But also, this video is going to have two stops because there's another stop coming up that we're headed to. So, let's go check out what's in the thrift store. Okay, let's go see how this Florida thrift store stacks up, shall we? <laughs> I always have to check out the jewelry. You know me and artwork i always have to check out artwork it's my favorite this shuttle launch one is actually really cool we got some avon here i really liked this drip glaze piece maybe a hobbyist piece this would be a really great souvenir these conch shells can be very expensive if you want to buy them. So I thought that was kind of neat. And then up here, this is what's called a Sailor's Valentine, this box. Now, this one did have damage and it is a pretty modern reproduction. So I did pass on it, but if it didn't have the damage, I would have picked it up. I thought that was Pretty, pretty neat find. They did have some vintage items um, and some antique pieces. I loved these plates with the reticulated edges. I thought they were very unique. They were just priced a little too high for me to do anything with them uh, for resale, but I thought they were gorgeous. I also love this piece of glass. It reminded me of maybe Blanco. Katie, uh, she checked it out as well. <laughs> now this is a perfect example of flashed glass and how it gets all worn over time. Look how you can see the light right through that flash coating. Yeah, way too expensive for how much damage is on this piece. They had some really cute furniture. I loved those chairs. Who didn't have a couch with this kind of pattern on it growing up? And oh my goodness, I loved the sewing machine table. It's beautiful and the price was great. I loved this. If I was in my home state, I would have picked that up and I would have put it in my antique booth. I think it is beautiful. I think it had a great price on it. And Ken Miller, you did a great job, sir. <laughs> but you know what? I did find real treasure in this thrift store. So wait for it. Right over here. Look at this amazing piece. And y'all, that is the color of the day. That is a 99 cent tag. Get out of town. That is a true Art Nouveau era antique. $1.08, you guys. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, y'all. So thrifted this puppy. 99 cents yellow tag. So this is Art Nouveau era. On the bottom, it is marked. Decent find. I think a great deal at 99 cents. Yeah. I mean, come on, you can't. You can't. It's just a perfect Florida souvenir yes. too because it's got the orange blossoms and it's gorgeous and the oranges and everything about it I love. Me too. So that is going to be my Florida souvenir from this trip. <laughs> All right, on to the antique store and see if we can't find more yeah. 99 cool cent deals. Do you think it's possible? I don't know about that. Maybe, maybe $5 <laughs> deals, but still hopefully All right. some deals. Let's maybe. see what we can do. <laughs> and we're off. For more finds in the Florida sunshine. 
You know when you come up to an antique store and you just like look in the window and you know it's gonna be a good one? Yeah, that's how this was. Just looking in the window. Oh, we knew. Oh, we knew. Oh my goodness, look at that lamp. Oh, so beautiful. And oh my gosh, this antique bird cage. Stunning. And 75% off, that's my jam. Oh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> What a beautiful little frame. I really like that. Ooh, an antique candle snuffer. How cool. That's a really neat find. I saw so many things in the store I just haven't actually seen before. It was really fun to see this kind of quality of antiques and just learn a little more. Like, isn't that amazing? Oh, I love that. Oh my gosh, look at this and oh, an antique automaton. Oh, I that is amazing. Absolutely stunning. They had the most exceptional cases of smalls and jewelry. Oh, there were so many finds in here. I loved that cameo shell. Ooh, and the hat pins. Yes. Okay, I, I think me and Katie, we're, we're gonna need to get into this case. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> Okay, Katie found a piece that she absolutely loves. I think she's gonna end up getting that one. That's really neat. And then it wouldn't be Katie shopping if she didn't find a brooch, of course. <laughs> oh, that's really cute. That is a killer piece. Here are some finds I picked up in the case. This is out of my budget, but oh, I love that. Very, very beautiful. Felt like maybe Vulcanite. Just lovely. Loved this miniature painted portrait. Again, it was just something nice to see. And I had to peruse the hat pins. There were so many beautiful ones in there to check out. Absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. <laughs> Isn't that so fun? Uh one of the booth owners showed us this. It's a wine stopper. I've never seen a perfume bottle quite as exquisite as this one. That is exceptional. Oh, look it. It is the devils and the card. How awesome is that to see in person? Katie had actually never seen that in person before. Now, these were absolute treasure troves. They were $300 per album, so I did end up passing, but the caliber of postcards in here was fantastic. Look at the mohair postcards. Look at these beautiful fairy tale women. This this was amazing. It was worth every penny, but it just wasn't the type of money I was going to spend today.
I loved how most of their cases were actually open. So you could take a look inside without having to get a key. I thought that was, that was really nice. Very convenient. Another beautiful hand-painted miniature portrait. This is beautiful, however, it is deceiving. Um, I do believe this is probably mid-century and not as old as I initially thought when I picked it up. And you know I love teacups. You know your girl loves a bougie teacup. <laughs> Lots of fun smalls everywhere. Oh no, antique books, oh no. Well, I'm gonna be here a while. <laughs> and 70% off, okay. Well, game on. <laughs> I thought this was stunning. The color combination in this painting was very unique. And that bird, well, that bird has seen some things. <laughs> I love this little diorama. Okay, I'm back at my book nonsense. I just gotta keep looking at the antique books. I can't help it. It's a weakness of mine. This was a really neat collection of antique books about the Arctic. Some beautiful sculpted pieces. I loved these picture frames and the artwork on the walls so absolutely stunning. I thought the subject matter of this one was really interesting. That dream. I have no idea what this is. I've never seen anything like that ashtray before. Very unique. Oh, and what do we have here? Ooh, tin types, and they're a good deal. So I'm gonna look through them and see if there's any unique ones I need to grab. Lots of Balik pieces in this cabinet. But quite frankly, I'm more interested in the books that are at the bottom of this cabinet. There's some really gorgeous antique books down here. Love this. I collect antique Alice in Wonderland books. This was an exquisite purse. Very good condition for that style. That's a highly sought after style. I love that. I really love this woven basket back here. I have sold similar items. I think they're gorgeous. Very ornate. And I wanna check this piece out a little bit more. This might be one of the pieces I regret not picking up. Now this is like a faux leather finish. It's for sure Victorian. But what a neat little jewelry case. The price is great, actually, for what it is. I've never really seen anything quite like it before. I'm, I'm smitten.
I thought this little heart box was neat. It's like woven. I just haven't really seen anything like it. It almost looked like a cheese cover. And I loved this purse. Gorgeous. If it was in better condition, I would have bought it for myself and I would carry this. I think it's structurally very striking and very beautiful. Ooh, wow. That is a really unique piece. A lot of things here were just fun to look at because I hadn't really seen them before. I mean, when do you see something like this? That is amazing. It didn't have a price on it, but that was exceptional. There were also some jewelry caskets here, not in the best shape, so the price is too much for resale. And I know Heather Elizabeth at Antique Agenda, she collects these napkin rings. I don't really know if this was a good price for these napkin rings, but it was neat to see them. Ooh, these are a good little find. I thought these were priced really reasonably for what they were. All right, you know me, I gotta check out the ephemera. So I am on the floor now and I am digging around, so. That is a fun little ephemera pack. And look at these albums. Now, quite honestly, I think the prices on these albums are far too high, even though they're gorgeous albums. There's no photos in there. There's no room for me for resale on them, but I still needed to check them out. It would be rude not to. <laughs> Ugh, another weight set and a scale. Oh my gosh, that is exceptional. I love that. Ooh, and I love this shelf piece. Okay, let's see if I can get it out so you can see it. Isn't that gorgeous? I actually have a couple matching shelves to this. Oh, sorry guys, I was trying to get to the tag. <laughs> We got a little Disneyana here. Three little pigs. <laughs> oh, I see a digger booth. Okay, let's go. <laughs> let's dig for the deals. <laughs> They had a lot of neat pieces, but you know, broken, like that didn't have the base, things like that. So even though they're neat pieces, they're not the greatest items to pick up for resale. Now look what Katie found for me in this booth. Oh my Lord. Look at that. Oh, that is so my jam. And it's red dot. That is 75% off. Oh, that is cute. I really love that, but of course, all the cool things are not for sale. Always marked NFS. <laughs> they did have a lot of really neat, like labeled packaging items at this store, which makes a lot of sense since it's the apothecary shop. Lots of fun purses in this gorgeous 
Georgian style sink. I mean, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I really liked this mod purse. It looks like it's maybe a craft made out of a magazine. I thought that was just, it was different and unique. Ooh, another jewelry casket, and this is a very large one. Now, it did have a red dot, but again, it's not in good condition. So I do have to pass on that. It's not gonna be something I wanna resell. This was exceptional. I have never seen this pattern before. It was just really cool to see in person. Absolutely lovely, and it was so nice that they had the pattern identified. And oh my goodness, are these not the coolest cats you have ever seen? Uh, this picture is to die for. And look, y'all, oh my goodness, the Queen Mary. Ugh, my haunted loving heart loves these. Ooh, that kind of looks like what I picked up in the thrift store. And oh, the frame on that is gorgeous. I love tramp art. And ooh, this is a unique find. Now this piece I did leave behind. It is one of my regrets. It's just a beautiful vase. I would have bought it just for myself to keep, but honestly, I don't need another vase, so. I did leave it behind. I thought it was an amazing deal and it was beautiful. All right, here's Katie showing off some of the things she picked up. <laughs> uh, we had so much fun here, y'all. I, I just, uh, this was such a great find. And right at the checkout counter, I actually ended up finding something amazing. <laughs> Okay, y'all, so we got some amazing stuff. Yeah, we okay. Did. Uh, so when you next see us, we are going to do just like a hotel haul. Uh, we have some more things to do today, so it's going to be pretty late. So yeah. we might be a little loopy, but it's going to be worth it. <laughs> and it's so, going to be great. It's going to be great. All right, see you then. <laughs> okay, y'all, we're back. <laughs> we're ready to do a haul with the most janky lighting setup <laughs> anyone has ever seen. Yep. In a hotel room. In fact, Katie, I'm going to make you take a picture of your yeah. phone with what we're doing so that people can see it. So we're just going to insert I it. I did. Because we're going to insert it right here. <laughs> I mean, if you could just see, I was like, we've got all the lamps together to yeah. make this happen. This is great. This is so classy. Okay, okay. So we're going to start off with the haul. We're just going to go back and forth and show you the things that we picked up today. All right. My guest first. Okay. Well, this was an exciting pickup today. This is Golden Tea Sewing Machine Oil, and on the bottom, it's from the Great American Tea Company in Brooklyn, which later became A&P. Very cool. So, do you think you got a pretty good deal on that? Oh, absolutely. 25 bucks with the paper label still intact, and it's full. I mean, come on, guys. And my first find from the day was actually from the thrift store. So, you already saw this. This is that beautiful Art Nouveau piece. Really gorgeous. And this cost me all of 99 cents, and it is a perfect souvenir from Florida. Okay, so the other items I picked up, I got a bundle deal on, so I can't give you an exact cost, but I have one of these forever. They are a set of opera glasses in the case. Don't often find the case made by a wonderful Paris company. Now, they don't have their handle, and that is why I was able to get a killer deal on them. And oh, they're just gorgeous, this mother of pearl. Look at it. I love the case. I do too. <laughs> so I'm a sucker for an antique book, especially an antique book that has like provenance or is on sale. So gorgeous antique book. And what I just loved about this one is it has a letter from the author in it. So this book is, was man created? 
super interesting. I think this has a lot to do with like old theories of evolution and such. And it is signed by the author. So I just thought that was amazing. Uh, so this is October 25th, 1880. Wow. And the book was published in 1880. And um, yeah, I just, I'm obsessed. It has all kinds of really kind of odd pictures in it and like ideas about evolution. This is absolutely my jam. It's geeky and weird and I am here for it. <laughs> Well, this was a pretty exciting find because I don't often see these when they're just by themselves. And what this is, is an old receipt or paper uh, piece that would have been either on a clipboard in some sort of ledger book or on a desk. And this is, I believe, from 1879. And it is so incredibly cool. And I like that this is small because it would be perfect for all of my flat lays. It's just the best industrial piece with the coolest lettering on it. And it is for the Office Specialty Manufacturing Company out of Rochester, New York. Nice. And this was a steal of a deal. Nice. Then I'm a sucker for old photos and I got a really good deal on a bunch of tin types. So I picked up quite a few and a few of these are the same family too, which I absolutely love. They're so beautiful. I really grabbed tin types that were a little bit unique, that were couples, that were groups of couples. I super duper love these and they were a great deal. They're so you. Okay, so I wouldn't be vintage in vinyl if I weren't picking up a brooch or a jelly belly brooch. And this is sterling silver and I did pay up for it a little bit, but it's staying with me because, well, a penguin with an umbrella and a clear jelly belly with a red eye is just super fabulous and he needed to come home and I need to wear him immediately so I'm going to get him polished up he just brings me so much joy <laughs> so I'm taking a chance on this next one for resale because military souvenirs don't tend to sell that well but this is unique and had a lot of detail so I did pick it up gorgeous handkerchief set in box with that original label and look at the detail on these. That I just everything. I just thought the detail on these were really a higher level when most of the time these military souvenirs just don't sell. But I think this one might, so I'm giving it a shot. So the last thing I picked up at this antique mall is just so me. When we walked in, Catherine said, are you going to look at the playing card thing? And I was like, of course I am. I have to because I'm obsessed with anything with a playing card on it. Probably goes back to me being a kid and playing cards with my grandparents. But this is a wonderful little playing card item. It is a money clip with the amazing detail of a king on it. And I just think the enamel works gorgeous and it's going to be killer in a flat lay. But I also might turn it into a tie clip with one of my grandpa's ties. So lots of options. Yeah, I love that. I think it's so great. It, I, I like card stuff too because I like Alice in Wonderland. Yeah. So I totally get it. Okay, on checking out, I noticed that there was a Lucite candle. And lo and behold, there was a Lucite candle pair. Now there was no price on them. So we had to call to get a price quote on these bad boys. <laughs> um, these are about eight inches. Y'all, I paid $12 for the pair. What so that is a good flip. Okay, and then this piece actually Katie found and was like, Catherine. <laughs> yeah, I gotta take care of my girl here. <laughs> Catherine, and she knows me. Absolutely love this. Staying in my collection, I about died. It even has the original easel. Gorgeous, gorgeous Victorian lady. Look at the frame. I already have something very similar to this. So beautiful. Oh my lord. In great condition. The original easel, y'all, I about died. I about died. And get this, 75% off. It was red dot, baby. 75% <laughs> off. I can't, like, I can't even handle it. So amazing find, Katie. Good job. I'm glad. And then my last pickup at this place, well, you know me. I love artwork. So of course it's artwork. And this piece I actually saw and I made an offer on it. I didn't want to pay the price they had. And it was about 40% off, I was asking, and they took it. 
because I had bought other items. So it always pays to ask. And it is a beautiful World War I image. Absolutely stunning. And the frame is also stunning. Carved wood. Love this so much. Oh my goodness. So um, I have World War I uh, posters in my house. They are heirloom pieces. So I'm just going to add this to that collection. And Katie, didn't we uh, pick up something else? Oh, yeah, we did, Catherine. We picked up these. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got these souvenirs from the Epcot uh, Festival of the Arts. They are the coveted figment bucket and they light up. So, you know, maybe someday these will be vintage and people will want to pick up these in an antique shop. Who knows? <laughs> and these are just childhood in a box. Yes, makes me very happy. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Okay, so that is it, y'all. So please let me know if there was anything in the video that you absolutely loved that we didn't pick up or let us know what your favorite item was we did grab. And be sure to subscribe to Katie's channel, Vintage and Vinyl. I'll be sure to link it up top and to link it below. And stay creative, y'all. And bye! Bye, friends! <laughs>